Okay, I've got all my little signatures, a little bit more bundled now, I guess. And um, for this one, I'm going to put a piece of tape around this section just to protect it. So let me just check if that's not going to be too thick for that. See, there's not much tape if I wrap it in front here and then both sides, not much. I'm going to use the, there's another one, it's slightly different width. Just slightly wider, so I'm going to use this one instead, just because this little signature is a bit fatter. Okay, I've got my little booklets. Once again, I just want to make sure that everything is nice and strong. So that's why there's a lot of taping together. Um, also, because if I was to put all these, you know, a piece of tape over all of these, when I open them up, there'll be nothing to hold them in the center very much. So it'll be a bit loose. So that's the only reason why I'm adding all this tape. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do a piece of tape above or around this bunch here, back to the thick one. And then you guessed it, I'm going to bind these two together. They're not the same size, but it doesn't matter. It's just what gives it strength. And I find that this way, I don't have to worry about putting a whole lot of uh, gel medium on the spine and that sort of thing like a lot of people are doing. So this is my way of giving my little book strength. So again, obviously the thick one, and at this stage, you could also use um, cloth tape if you find it stronger. But I'm going to do another layer on top just to be safe. Okay, so at this stage, my booklet is already pretty strong. It's nicely held together. It doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. And that's what definitely I wanted. Um, so just to make it extra strong, this is an optional step. 
optional step, sorry, I'm going to use uh, cloth tape. So I have, I just put it back after I showed it to you earlier. I've got white cloth tape and black. So treat up to you, you know, whatever you want to go with. I'm going to use the white one, which is again a bit wider than this one. So I can really go around the whole spine nicely. And this is a little bit stronger. Again, the adhesive is a little bit stickier. You can see it's pretty sticky. Let's try not to waste this time another piece. I'm going to put this down here. And then try as best as I can to cut it and not let it roll onto itself. There you go. Use my scissors to hold it down. Okay, we're in business now. So exactly the same thing. I'm going to try to keep my placement a little bit better. And this time I'm going to put the spine roughly in the center. But here, don't worry about having it super straight because again, the edges will be covered. Just press it nice and firm. I'll take these off. And then I'm going to cut this tape now on the edges just to make it a little bit easier for me. That's one side. And again, don't worry, it's not perfect. It's all good. Whoops. When you make your own, you'll see sometimes it'll be tricky. You might have to fight a little bit with your paper or your tape or that sort of thing. All right, so I'm going to just press on the spine and then I'm going to kind of fold the tape little by little just so it molds as well as possible without any fold on the spine if possible okay now I can press this section down you can use the bone folder again if you want but this sticks quite well so I'm not too worried and then I'm just going to knit that up with my scissors once again. Let's cut off any excess. Yeah. And then the other side, it's not as bad. Let's go from there. Uh, go from this angle. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit hard to reach. Okay. All right. That's a little booklet done. And that is pretty strong. We didn't need to use any glue on the back. You can keep pressing down a bit on here if you like, but everything should hold nicely. Before doing the covers, I'm going to go through my little booklet and make sure everything falls, falls fairly nicely. As you can see, it's not super neat everywhere. But that's okay because these are backgrounds now for future art journal pages so you can glue things on top paint things all good so i'm just going through to make sure everything looks uh, okay if there's any adhesive here and there then i might just rub off that extra glue with my fingers here like for instance, these are a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to do that. I can see there's a little bit of that adhesive tape on there. And what a time saver that was, that little, um, what is it called? Advanced tape glider. I mean, it is super chunky. Look at that thing. You could, you know, it could be like a craft weapon. <laughs> it's super chunky, but what an invention. It's just brilliant. Oh, I love it. It took a little bit of time to get you getting used to it at first. Um, but once you understand how it goes and how it works, then easy. All right. For instance, here where we've joined a couple of booklets together, there's, you can see a bit of tape from the spine. So all I'm going to do is put another piece of my tape here right on top i'll start on one side that's going to cover both sides together so that's good just for extra strength once again and you know this is how i do it but um if you have better tips um definitely share like leave a comment below and let me know how you do your little journals because Certainly, I'm not an expert, um, and I find that this works well. I don't need to do any stitches uh, in the middle, like 
um, stitches. Sounds like an injured journal. Any stitching. <laughs> um, and it's kind of easy. I think that's the easiest way to create a little journal, really. Uh, anyone can do this. But yeah, if you've got any tips, then share with me. Always happy to hear. Now here, um, as you can see a little bit, but it is held up quite nicely here on both sides. So it's up to you if you want to add a piece of uh, the similar tape or just uh, some washi tape. This is a good time to just go nuts with the washi tape. Uh, so let's see, let's put some of this one. So exactly the same process as we've done before, but with washi tape this time. Let's go this way. Because now it's not so much about giving it strength. Um, well, although I am checking, but washi tape will be enough to add that extra missing strength, if that makes sense. You don't need to use the thick tape anymore if you don't want to. It's really up to you. So I'm just going to cut that off. Same thing I've done. And I'm going to keep going through my little booklet and see if there's anywhere that I want to kind of uh, make sure there won't be any issues with later on. by now our little booklet is super strong it's really sturdy I mean nothing's going to move around I'm really happy with it and yeah it's nice to most play most pages will fold pretty flat not all of them would be perfect but mostly you know you can always put something there to hold it down and you're good <laughs> now uh, all we need to do is to decorate the front and the back so super easy remember your stack of gel prints then <laughs> go and pick some and uh, decide on which one you'd like to put on the front and the back so this piece i didn't uh, plan on keeping so it's all good and this has already black the black <laughs> <laughs> I've been filming too long. I think all the fumes maybe from uh, the uh, ATG, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, this side's already blank, so I'm not losing anything. And this one I didn't care about. So decide on your front and back. Uh, let me just double check. So I think there was one washi tape uh, roll that I used that had faces. I don't really want them to be upside down. So let me just find where that was. And... Where was it? Ah, uh, here, the faces. Okay, so we'll make sure that this is, my booklet goes this way. 
that will be my front so now i can decide i've got these two so i'll go with i think i'll go with this one um and i'm going to use gel medium that i'm just going to brush on straight onto uh, the paper and the cloth tape and then press that down and then i'll do the same on the back super easy oh and i'm using liquitex matte gel it's really good quality and it's quite strong so i know my page will not go anywhere so i'm going to line the page onto this side first I can see that all my edge is there. It's not very straight anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, but you know, it was kind of expected from the start because I wasn't doing anything very precise. So that's the reason. So I'm pressing nice and firm. I'm even going to open this one out and then press from this side. Like so. Make sure the edges are nice, they press together, and then here as well. Just make sure you don't have any gel medium oozing out, but you do want this edge to be nicely stuck down as well, which is not very well done right here. <laughs> do as I say, don't do as I do. I didn't put enough, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And the excess we can wipe off with a baby wipe. So let's just do that. Now I want to apologize for the state of my fingers. That's not, I know it's not very pretty to look at. Unfortunately, fingernails um, take ages to grow. So unless I wait two months for them to grow back, I won't be able to do any videos. So yes, one of my flaws is that I chew my nails when I'm stressed. And uh, the worst part is I don't realize I'm doing it. So <laughs> when I realize it's usually too late and the reason why I've been stressing about is obviously oh, most of the time is something silly and this time is, it is kind of not very, um, it's not very interesting so I won't even talk about it but you know it's just, that's why my fingers look disgusting and also I was doing some pouring out this morning which doesn't help the paint always goes under my fingernails and I refuse to use gloves, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna need to press that down a bit off camera until it dries a bit more, just to make sure it's nice and firm. Okay, now we can do the back. Same thing. I'm just gonna add a little bit more gel medium on this edge now, and then it's just easy to wipe it off the tape, the cloth tape anyway. So let's not worry about that. What do you guys do when you're stressed? You know, most people drink or smoke or take drugs. Um, for me, I chew my nails and I eat. <laughs> you know, it's not a great, uh, not the best coping mechanism, that's for sure. But at least it's better than drinking or taking drugs, I guess. Um, but yeah, what do you guys do to cope with stress? You know, we all we all different and everything works or every solution for stress management is different doesn't what work one thing that works for one person doesn't work for another but i'd be curious what do you do do you just go to your craft room and paint um do you reach for the ice cream tub and the blocks of chocolates or maybe the biggest bag of cheesels you can find <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about she says <laughs> but anyway leave me a comment below to let me know because you know it's nice to share even though it's not art related really but you know i like to hear what you guys do it makes me feel good to know you know who's at the other end watching my videos and um, it's a way to get to know each other a little bit more so there you go i think my page on the back is done you can see it's sticking out i told you it wasn't going to be perfect and it definitely isn't i have delivered on this end 
um, and then this bit I should be holding a bit longer if you're not really in a hurry I'm just making a video now to show you guys but so I am in a hurry but if you're not then I would recommend uh, pressing these edges between two heavy books or anything that you have around that is fairly heavy and I'll do that off camera once I'm done which I'm pretty much I think I'm pretty much there I just need to trim off a little bit of excess paper here and you can do that with yours as well trim off all the pages the page edges um, to make sure they're all as neat as can be definitely is not very neat on my end but yeah. It's all good. I still love this little book and how it's turned out. Now, one thing I was going to mention is that if you're worried about this edge not being strong enough for you, then, you know, just put the tape over uh, the front and back. If you don't mind having the tape showing on the front and back, just do that. You know, it's just as easy. <laughs> all right, my friends, there you go. Here's my little book. I will neaten that up off camera. You don't need to watch me do this. Um, but this is how I make my little uh, booklets with gel prints. And then later on, I just go back and add heaps of things in there. Um, stickers, die cuts, uh, handwriting. You could uh, write your thoughts, add collage, some photos, some paper, whatever you like. This is a little art journal you can completely customize. And I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. You know, it takes time to make these long videos. I hope that I haven't bored you to death. I uh, try to keep them as short as possible whenever I can. Um, but if you've enjoyed this, then make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. See, you know, to tell me what if you've enjoyed it. I, I really like to know because uh, I'm just talking to a camera here, you know, and probably go crazy before too long. Although I already am. Um, but yeah, just interact with me. I'd like to hear what you think. And if you have any requests for videos, um, any questions, that sort of thing, then leave me a comment. You know what to do. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. This is the little booklet. Um, and then this was the first one I made, which is already decorated. And um, I'll do the same with this one. And then I'll put some pictures on Instagram and on Facebook uh, of all the pages so you can see what I'm doing with them and hopefully get inspired. All right, guys. Bye for now.